you see now There's no more forgiveness No running now Cause you've made it my business Etched in my mind The sins of your past are slapping me in the face That I can't Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to part two of the No Mercy pay-per-view. This is my WWE 2K18 Ruthless Aggression Area Universe Money. We are kicking off No Mercy part two with two tag team debuts. We're finally going to see the debut of Paul London and Brian Kendrick. These two have been set for two matches over the past couple weeks on Friday Night Smackdown, but they have just not happened due to the rivalry brewing between the Dudley Boys and the World world's greatest tag team of course earlier tonight we did see the crowning of the new tag champs the Dudley boys defeating charlie haas and sean Benjamin in an elimination style tables match so uh hopefully we got paul and brian kendrick and we have another tag team debuting tonight and maybe hopefully if uh stephanie mcmahon plays her cards correctly maybe whoever wins this match can get a future tag team championship shot i'm not sure we're gonna have to see but let's bring out the new the newly formed tag team. Let's bring them out. It's Chris Benoit and Daniel Bryan. They have joined forces on Friday Night SmackDown. They have become a unit here in the WWE. And they are looking to just prove themselves as a tag team. So, Bryan Kendrick and... And Paul Lunder may be making their debut, in-ring debut. Daniel Bryan, Chris Benoit have already made their debut here in the WWE. But this is their tag team debut. And what a debut. Uh, it's probably the biggest tag team debut that we have ever seen here on this universe mode. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are enjoying this series so far, be sure to smash that like button. Leave a comment down in the comment section below what you guys want to see in the future. Of course, we do have... Two more matches after this. We got the United States Championship match. AJ Styles taking on John Cena. Then we got the Undisputed Championship match between Kurt Angle and Brock Lesnar. No holds barred. But this match is underway. Kicking off No Mercy Part 2. And Chris Benoit right out the gate with a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Both teams looking to prove their worth here in the WWE. Chris Benoit now. Look at this. Puts him up for power bomb. Looking to see how these two teams can work as a unit. See which one can walk out on top as Chris Benoit goes to the top rope here. Oh, looks like he decided against it. He saw Paul Leno was getting up to his feet, so he decided against it. And they, that may have been a mistake because he walked right into that Hurricane Rana. Now Paul Lennon has control. Oh, and Insegiri takes out Benoit, drops him right down to his back. Paul Lennon looking to prove that his team's worthy here. They, have, they were supposed to have their debut matches on SmackDown two weeks in a row. First time against the Dudley Boys, second time against Charlie Haas and Shelton Benjamin. But neither of those ended up happening. They all got cut short. So this is the first time that we're seeing these two in action here. Of course, we've seen Daniel Bryan and Chris Benoit in action, just not as a, tag, as a formidable unit. But now Chris Benoit looking to get some momentum back here. But Paul London trying to stop him dead in tracks, and he is. That elbow shot back right, right to the back of the head. Look at this, German suplex, using Chris Benoit's own moves against him is Paul London. But Chris Benoit, not going to take too kindly to that. Picks him up, what's he doing here? Oh, shot right to the back. Chris Benoit, of course, has been in tag teams in the past. He has teamed up with the likes of Eddie Guerrero, Daniel Bryan. We have not seen him team up with anyone in this series so far, as far as I know. Of course, he has his allies like anyone else here, but he we've never seen him in real tag team action. As Paul London tags in Brian Kendrick. Got to see what Brian's made of here. Daniel Bryan, though, he was waiting for him. He, he bought, ooh, suckered him into that big uppercut. DDT. Look at 
Look at Danny Bryan. Look at this. Look at that. Some, look at look at him just wrenching on that arm of. Oh, Brian Kendrick and just kicks. What a way to stretch out that that pec pectoral muscle and the arm and the bicep, stretching out all of the all the muscles in that area. That can really affect Brian Kendrick's offense. But Brian Kendrick looking to fight back. Knee to the gut. Picks him up. Look at this. This guy in a torture rack position. Oh! Almost like a reverse Death Valley driver or a reverse FU. Brian Kendrick, middle rope, goes for a senton, and, he, and Brian moves out of the way. Of course, I'm recording this, let, this commentary last minute. I'm actually going to Buffalo here in like maybe in less, less than 24 hours, I'll be leaving for Buffalo to go to work. So I'll be gone for two weeks. Hopefully I got enough videos to make it through. I should as Danny Bryan. Look at this. Looking for the yes kicks. Looking for the yes kicks. And he's connecting with every single one of them. And here's the final. The yes kicks are in full effect here. The yes movement is in full effect here on No Mercy. Looking to tag in Chris Benoit. Could they be looking to finish this match off here? Benoit's calling for the end. Oh, roundhouse kick in to a brain buster. This could very well be it. The Paul London. Oh, gets in there and makes a save. But he gets caught by Daniel Bryan. Oh, wait a minute. Paul London fighting out of it. Oh, for him right to the face. There goes Bryan. Chris Benoit now top rope. What's he looking for here? Paul London disposing of Daniel Bryan. Chris Benoit takes up Ben Kendrick, but no. He almost took him out with that missile drop kick, but Kendrick moved out of the way. Tags in Paul London. Paul London and Brian Kendrick are holding their own against Benoit and Brian. You wouldn't expect it because of how, just how good Benoit and Brian are when they're in a singles competition. Wait a minute here. Top rope German suplex. There goes Chris Benoit. That match, this could, this match could be over off that. Standing moonsault. Paul London bringing out the Heavy duty moves here. Snaps the neck of Benoit. Of course, you can expect Paul Hunter and Brian Kendrick. They're probably more. They came into the business as a tag team. At, whereas Brian and Benoit came in as singles competitors. And they were on the top of their game as singles competitors. So the, it's probably going to take more than just one match for them to get used to teaming together. So, But Paul Hunter and Brian Kendrick have been teaming for a while. Oh! Shot to the leg. Chris Benoit trying to fight out of that predicament. He was pushed into the corner and he's trying to fight out of it. Look at this. He sends him back to his corner with Daniel Bryan as a waiting. Tags him in. Oh, they're looking for it again. This time, Daniel Bryan's on the roundhouse kick. Brain buster. Down goes Paul London. Brian Kendrick's going to have to come in and make the save. But Benoit, is Benoit going to cut him off? No, he didn't. Benoit didn't cut him off. Benoit didn't, didn't stop Brian Kendrick. He sort of went over there and he thought Brian was just going to stay up on the apron and he didn't. He got in the ring and broke up the pin. Because of that, this match continues as Daniel Bryan with a knee right to the side of the head. Right to the side of the head of Paul London. Uh oh. Paul London. Fireman's carry reversal. Looking to fight back here. Turns him around. Look at this. Oh, look at the athleticism of Paul London. Hurricane Rana takes Daniel Bryan down. Tags in his partner. Brian Kendrick now is in the rain. Could be looking to pick up the pieces. Whatever's left of Daniel Bryan. Oh, insecurity. He picked him up just to kick him right in the side of the face and knock him right back down to the canvas. Oh, Brian Kendrick with a Russian leg sweep. Daniel Bryan's got to make the tag here. He's in a lot of trouble. Oh, no. What's this? Oh, look at that. Look at that. He's wrenching on that neck of Daniel Bryan. But Daniel Bryan fighting out of it. This may be his chance. He's got to capitalize. What's he doing? Okay, that works. 
It's a way to capitalize, I guess. Tagging. Is he going to tag him, Benoit? Oh. Oh, Brian Kendrick almost got to Paul London. Brian Kendrick was looking for the tag, but Daniel Bryan caught him off, cut him off. Oh, is that, that's not a wise move. Daniel Bryan went to the outside where Paul London's right next to him. But da Paul London's staying where he's at. Look at this. Dropkick right to the side of the face. Daniel Bryan dr springboard dropkick right to the side of ben, uh, Kendrick's face. And now with the yes kicks once again. Back and forth action here on No Mercy. Ooh. Of course, this is not a championship match. This is just to, to give two debuting teams some light here at the pay-per-view. Oh, Brian Kendrick just took out Benoit. A little cheeky tactic there. Oh, and he lays out Brian. Brian Kendrick using some cheeky tactics here, but I don't think Daniel Bryan took too kindly to that. And I'm just going to toss him across the ring. And Brian just trying to figure out what to do next. Could he be looking to put Brian Kendrick away? Oh, he, oh, he saw that Kendrick was looking to get over to Paul London. Paul London, he was looking for the tag, but Daniel Bryan saw that, and that stopped him dead in his tracks. And now da Daniel Bryan looking to put him away, looking for the running knee. The running knee connecting perfectly, and that could be it. Could be it. No, Paul London. Broke up the pin and Daniel Bryan's not happy. He's saying, get the hell out of the, Get out of here. I had that win. Oh, German suplex. There he goes. Brian Kendrick got the... He got... Oh, what a kick to the face. Paul London now. He's getting something going for his team. Look at something going, but Daniel Bryan... With a reversal. Daniel Bryan looking for something big. Paul London reversed. Look at this. Oh! Right on the ropes. Daniel Bryan's neck, head and neck just got hung up on all three of those ropes. And he's still, he's still continuing to fight. That's that fighting spirit of the American Dragon. He's still going to give Paul London the kicks. The yes kicks. The Yes Movement is in full capacity here tonight. It's Daniel Bryan looking to put Paul London away, but Paul London's not going down. Neither one of these teams want to give an inch. Reversal after reversal. Momentum shift after momentum shift. Who will walk away the victory, the victory here in the opening contest of No Mercy Part 2? Paul London looking at tagging Kendrick, but no, Daniel Bryan reversed. The Paul London reversed. Oh, and that may put him away. That may put him down that time. Brian Kendrick just giving Paul London a little bit of room. Ooh, look at that. Flipping senton. Impressive move by Paul London. Daniel Bryan still not staying down. Like I said, neither one of these teams want to give an inch. They both want the victory so badly that, it, that they could taste it. They could both taste victory. It's just one move away. The question is, who will pull that move out? And will that be enough? Oh, kick right to the face. Chris Benoit with that kick right to the head of Paul London. Looking for belly to belly, those patented suplexes, but no. Oh, he gets caught in a flapjack. Paul London was trying to, he fought out of the belly to belly, but still got caught with a flapjack. Benoit has taken control of this match for his team. And Benoit now going to the second rope. Oh, missile drop kick off that second row. Paul London went flying there. And Chris Benoit now. He's looking for the sharpshooter. He's looking for the sharpshooter. Paul London may have to tap. This could be it. Paul London may have to tap here. Chris Benoit's got that sharpshooter locked in tight. Is Paul London going to tap out the referee? He's asking him, but Chris Benoit, realizing that that's not going to be enough, so he just lets go. Of the submission hold, gonna try and do something different. 
Look at the tag in Daniel Bryan, but Paul London fighting out of the corner. Forearm shot right to the face. Paul London's fighting back. He's fighting back here. Tags in Brian Kendrick. Oh, what is this? What is this? Goodness! Drop kick into a suplex. Chris Benoit's trying to. Daniel Bryan wants to tag, but Chris Benoit's still fighting his way through. Chris Benoit looking to go up top, looking to go high risk, high reward. Could it be looking for that diving headbutt, the patented diving headbutt. There he goes. That diving headbutt connected flush. This match is over. Cover. They got him here. No. Paul London made the save just in the nick of time. And Paul London looking to take out Brian, but Brian in the background back suplex. Effectively just took out Brian, uh, Paul London. But Brian Kendrick has the advantage. Oh my goodness! Look at that! There goes Benoit! Benoit's out! He's out! Oh my god! Paul London and Brian Kendrick got the victory! They got the win here on No Mercy. What a great way to debut for Paul London and Brian Kendrick. Back and forth action from the opening bell. Neither one of these teams wanted to give an inch. But in the end, it'd be that sliced bread that would put him away, that would put Benoit away. And of course, you have to understand, Paul London and Brian Kendrick, they've been teaming for years. Chris Benoit and Daniel Bryan, this is their first night teaming. They decided to join forces, but they didn't know what it was like to be a tag team. So, I mean, I, I, have, to, uh, I have to believe that this... This little back and forth between Paul London and Brian Kendrick isn't over just yet because that was one hell of a contest. I hope to see these two face off again in the near future. But Paul London and Brian Kendrick get the big victory here tonight to kick off No Mercy Part 2. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it's the United States Championship match. John Cena defends the United States title against the up-and-coming superstar, A. J Styles. That match is up next on No Mercy. Well, they call him the phenomenal one, but will he be phenomenal tonight? Will he be phenomenal after tonight? Will he be able to cement his legacy here in the WWE as he looks to capture his first title here on Friday Night SmackDown? AJ Styles had the shot at the Undisputed Championship. He was unsuccessful against Brock Lesnar, but now he gets a shot at the United States Championship. Will he cement his legacy? Will he start building his legacy here in the WWE tonight. If he can get this victory over John Cena, you can guarantee that the era of the phenomenal one will begin. And AJ Styles is looking to prove that he belongs here in the WWE and he belongs to be champion. And he gets that opportunity here tonight. But it's not going to be a tough task because he's facing off against one John Cena. John Cena is not one to mess with. He's not one to take lightly. And uh, something tells me that AJ Styles knows that. Let's bring out the champ. There he is. The champ. is here. John Cena successfully defending that United States title on two separate occasions against the former champion Eddie Guerrero. He defended it at no mercy. He defended it a couple weeks later. No, he defended the title at SummerSlam against Eddie Guerrero. He defended it a couple weeks later on Friday Night SmackDown in the main event. And now he looks to defend that title once again here tonight against the phenomenal one. Does the era of the phenomenal one begin tonight? Or will John Cena's time continue? 
These fans seem to be taking more of a liking in John Cena ever since his match at SummerSlam against Eddie Guerrero. But these fans also love AJ Styles. Gonna have to see which one can walk out the victor here tonight. United States Championship is on the line. And that's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. United States Championship. One-on-one -on -one match. No tricks. It's just AJ Styles and John Cena. This match is underway. Let's see which one can get get the advantage early, early on here. That usually can tell you how the match is going to go based on what happens in the early stages. Both these superstars just looking to feel each other out. Oh, but John Cena gets caught, caught, caught AJ Styles with a the belly to belly suplex, just like that. John Cena able to use his power advantage over Styles to get the early advantage. Styles more of a technician, more of a, a high flyer slash technician. While John Cena is just a powerhouse, and that's that's all there is about it. He's a powerhouse and a brawler, and right now he's taking AJ Styles to his own version of Suplex City. First that belly to belly. Now that standing suplex and just Cena is putting the work in on AJ Styles. AJ Cena's not taking Styles lightly here, but AJ Styles is not taking Cena lightly. Look at this. Pele kick out of nowhere. Just like that, AJ Styles could turn the could change the, the way a match goes. And now AJ Styles takes down Cena. With one move, Styles could change the entire complexion of this match. And it looks like he's done that with that Pele kick and now. Arm drag. AJ Styles top rope. Going high risk early. Going to the high rent district with a low down. Per landing perfectly on John Cena. AJ Styles is going 100 miles an hour right out the gate. But John Cena is going to try and stop that. Going to try to slow him down. Try to wear him down a little bit. But Styles, of course, is not going to go down that easy. Styles. Oh, look at this. And these fans count along with John Cena's head while well, John Cena's head gets knocked off the turnbuckle for 10 consecutive times. And Cena's still trying to stay on his feet. But Styles has him up on his shoulders and then hangs him up on the top rope. Both of these superstars have a lot of respect for each other. You can believe that. But you have to believe that when, that, when the bell rings, this, the respect goes out the window. Now this is just... A match to see who can who can either either retain or gain the United States Championship right out the gate early early did AJ Styles go for that fireman's carry neckbreaker and he was successful with it but Cena's it was, it's obviously too early because Cena's still not going down he was still able to fight back oh and a clothesline floor is AJ Styles and Cena now looking for his signature early five knuckle shuffle coming up Cena connects with a five knuckle shuffle. Looking to put each other away early. Fast paced action. John Cena's looking for it. You can't see me. He says to AJ Styles, F you. Coming up. Down goes Styles. This match could be it. Cena retains. Cena retains. He's got him. No. Styles kicked out at two. And now wrenching on that neck. Wrenching on the neck of AJ Styles. Wrenching on that neck and back. Stretching him out for Styles. Able to fight out of it. And Cena still not letting up. Trying to figure out what to do with Styles. He needs to hurry before Styles fights out of it. But Styles, can He rammed him into that turnbuckle. And then turns around for a running power slam. But Styles, look at this, still refusing to stay down. Styles still refusing to stay down. Backbreaker. Now Styles looking to put Cena away. AJ Styles is looking to put John Cena away. He's got him set up. He's got him set up. Styles, Styles Clash connecting. He's out. He's got him. He's got him. No. Now Cena kicks out at two. Finishing moves are happening within the first ten minutes of this match. AJ Styles going to the second rope. He wants Cena up to his feet. Got to figure out what to do next with a phenomenal forearm from the middle rope. 
But Cena still not staying down. That resiliency of John Cena is out of this world as it is for AJ Styles. That kick to the back. Oh, Cena with a body splash off that metal rope. Don't Cena go, go high risk too often, but when you do, he usually hits his mark. Oh, look at this, Meiji Noku driver. Of course, we had the announcement from Stephanie McMahon on part one of No Mercy. It's John Cena looking for that five knuckle shuffle once again. We had the announcement from Stephanie McMahon earlier tonight about the Survivor Series pay-per-view. Three superstars from Raw competed against three superstars from SmackDown in a three-on-three -three elimination chamber match in the main event of Survivor Series. And the loser, the loser loses that brand's perspective, general manager. If Stephanie, if Team SmackDown loses, Stephanie resigns as AJ Styles kicks out at two off that FU. If Team SmackDown loses, Stephanie McMahon resigns. If Team Raw loses, Eric Bischoff resigns. It's all on the line at Survivor Series next month. As Cena looking for something big that that time Cena did not hit his mark. Let me know who you would like to see resign. As Survivor Series is AJ Styles. Fireman's Care Neckbreaker. Would you rather see Stephanie McMahon resign as Survivor Series or would you rather see Eric Bischoff resign? As Styles looking to put him up. Put him up for a second. Styles Clash. Can that put him away? He's got him. This match is over. Styles Clash number two. Styles is your new U.S. champion here. He's got him. No. That was close. I, I thought that was a three. I thought that was a three. Styles now wrenching on the head of Cena trying to wear him down as he as he tries to just figure out what to do next. Both these superstars are, are going through every move in their arsenal trying to figure out what's gonna what they what they need to take each other down. And Cena plants Styles into the canvas with a DDT. Sends him into the corner. What's he looking for here? Oh, hanging him hanging him upside down. Styles is in trouble, but Styles fighting out of it. Good wherewithal for Styles, able to fight out of that. Look at this. Goes around with the head scissors. AJ Styles showing his athleticism. Now Styles to the outside. Springboard 450, that patent it. 450 splash by AJ Styles. That could put Cena away. Cover. He's got him here. No. Cena kicked out again. John Cena refusing to stay down here tonight. But this may put him away here. Looking for another Styles clash. This one is going to put Cena away. It's going to put him away. He's got him. Styles Clash connecting. Cena's out. New champ, no. No, no, no. Referee telling everyone that, that was not a three count. That was a very close three count, but that was a 2.9. And Cena still refusing to stay down. He is still refusing to stay down. Just looking at Styles, trying to figure out what to do next. He's hit all of his big moves. He's hit the five knuckle shuffle. The FU, the only thing he has left is the STF. But AJ, not going down easy. And Cena not going down easy. These two just fighting, fighting back. And Cena had connects with that back suplex. What's Cena looking for here? Overhead shot. Wait a minute. Suplex. No. Styles reversed. Styles reversed. Sends him into the corner. Went for a forearm, but went for that jumping forearm. But he, he, Cena, Cena moved out of the way. And now Cena's got him hoisted up for an FU. But Styles, Styles fighting out of it. Styles fought out of the FU. Styles clash. Styles clash. That's it. Can that put him away? Styles Clash connecting. But no, he rolled the wrong way. And it was a rope break. Styles rolled the wrong way. And that was a rope break for John Cena. John Cena saved by the ropes here. Referee noticing Cena's hand was under that rope. 
and that cost AJ Styles his championship. But Styles still looking to fight here. Look for, looking to put the final touches on this match. Looking to capture his first title here in the WWE. Can he do it? Big right hand. Snap suplex coming up and he connects. Ooh, soccer ball kick right to the back, lower back of John Cena. Looking to turn him around, possibly with Cena fighting back. AJ Styles reversed, drops him down. Wait a minute. Single leg sharpshooter. Or that single leg Boston Crab. Whichever one you want. Single leg Boston Crab and Cena fights out of it. Messing up my moves dictionary here tonight. But this match is just so hyped up. And Styles looking for a second, looking for another Styles clash. And it connects again. But he rolled the wrong way again. But the ref doesn't see it. Okay. Cena, no. Cena kicked out. I thought Cena's arm was under the rope again. But the ref didn't see it. And I guess, I guess if the ref didn't see it, it didn't happen. John Cena, though, still refusing to go down. He's still kicked out. Look at the pin Styles. Styles kicks out. Of course, after this, we have the main event, which is Brock Lesnar versus Kurt Angle. Undisputed Championship is on the line. Ooh, elbow right to the chest. Cena's got him up on his shoulders. Hangs him up on the ropes. Hangs Styles up on the ropes. And Cena looking. He's looking for an FU. He's looking for an FU, but Styles fighting out of it again. Styles fight out of it again. Oh no! He got caught. Styles. He caught him. He caught Cena! Styles Clash 2 Styles did it We have a new United States Champion What a victory for AJ Styles What a moment We have a new US Champion AJ Styles With the biggest victory in his WWE career And these two may be Having some sort of confrontation Styles extends a hand Cena shakes it These two Utmost respect for each other as competitors. AJ Styles proving his worth here tonight on No Mercy. And he is the new United States Champion. What a victory for AJ Styles. The era of the Phenomenal One begins here tonight. And now it's time for the main event. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, Brock Lesnar puts his undisputed championship on the line against the Olympic gold medalist. It's Brock Lesnar versus Kurt Angle, undisputed championship, and it's up next. Here we go, the main event of No Mercy, ladies and gentlemen, this is the undisputed championship matchup as Kurt Angle, the challenger, the number one contender, is making his way to the ring. Of course, Kurt Angle had a little bit of a rough spot once we, when he was in the midst of his rivalry with The Rock. But after, after that match at SummerSlam, Kurt Angle has shown a different version of, of himself, a more aggressive, more focused version that we've seen of Kurt Angle. And tonight he looks to capture the big one. The, for all, it's, he's looking to capture all the marbles here. It's for the undisputed championship. But Kurt Angle wants that title. He made that very clear at the start of this little feud with Brock Lesnar. Of course, though, Brock Lesnar was the one that put the Undertaker out of action. He's the one that took out the Undertaker. We have not heard from the Undertaker since. We have not seen the Undertaker since SummerSlam. So we have to wonder if Brock can do that to the Undertaker. What can he do to Kurt Angle? Kurt Angle's gonna have to. He's going to have to keep an eye on Brock Lesnar. He's going to have to make sure he doesn't fall into the same situation that Taker did. Because that could be that could smell trouble for the Olympic gold medalist. 
Here comes the champion. The man who has had the most dominant reign as Undisputed Champion since this Universe Mode started. He has not lost that title. I don't even think he's lost the match. Brock Lesnar is absolutely dominant. Of course, though, you have to remember from that SummerSlam, from that Hell in a Cell match against Taker, Brock Lesnar is not at 100% here tonight. You can still see his head's taped up, his ribs are still taped up. Brock Lesnar is not at 100%. And you know, being the in-ring technician and the, the perfect wrestler that Kurt Angle is, he's going to exploit those those injuries of Brock Lesnar. He's going to use those to his advantage. But if, if we've learned anything about Brock Lesnar is that injuries don't put Brock Lesnar down. It certainly doesn't end up changing the complexion of the match. But when it comes to someone with the talent and someone that is as good as Kurt Angle is, you have to you have to you have to think that that could change here tonight. Because Kurt Angle is not like your normal superstar. He is an Olympic gold medalist. He is a wrestler. And he is worthy to be champion. Question is, can he capture it here tonight? It's the main event of No Mercy. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, if you guys are enjoying this series so far in this episode, be sure to smash that like button. Leave a comment down in the comment section below of what you guys want to see in the near future. And subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already for more. And turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on all my Universe Mode episodes. As you see, Brock Lesnar taped up head to ribs. Both taped up. It's going to play a factor in this match, I'm sure. But Brock Lesnar still doesn't seem too worried. Still seems like a normal Brock Lesnar here. As he could be relinquishing that title for the very last time here tonight on No Mercy. And it may be going to that man, Kurt Angle. What's going to happen when the bell tolls and this match is underway? That's what it's all about. It's for all the marbles here. It's the main event of No Mercy. It's the Undisputed Championship match. Kurt Angle, Brock Lesnar. This match is underway. Kurt Angle's going to have to avoid Suplex City. And he's looking to do that right now. It's Kurt Angle. Look at this. Kurt Angle, like I said, he saw those taped ribs and he immediately went after them. And it's smart. That's a smart move on Kurt Angle. That's going to be his advantage in this match. Kurt Angle doesn't have any current injuries. Brock Lesnar is currently not at 100%. Kurt Angle is. That's He's going to use it to his advantage. And Kurt Angle, the slap to the face, almost saying, come on, Brock, do something. And Brock Lesnar is going to give it to him. Big right hand just f took Kurt Angle off his feet. But Kurt Angle still not staying down in the spear right to those bruised ribs. And then a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Brock Lesnar... It's being manhandled here in the early going. Kurt Angle came into this, this match and he knew what's at stake and he's not messing around here. Brock Lesnar's going to have to do something to get back into this match or Kurt Angle may win here early. He's able to expose those weaknesses of Brock Lesnar. He's doing it perfectly. Brock Lesnar trying to create some separation. Trying to give himself some room to breathe. I'm sure he can barely breathe at all. Kurt Angle staring him dead in the face. And he just gives him a nice right hand. On the outside, Kurt Angle, those right hands, those mounted punches right to Brock Lesnar, right to that taped up, taped up forehead. Went for a right hand, but Brock Lesnar starting to fight back. Starting to fight back. Brock Lesnar on the outside drives him into the into the mat, into the into the floor on the outside of the ring. But Kurt Angle right back up to his feet, drives Brock Lesnar into the floor. Like I said, Kurt Angle is exposing those weaknesses of Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar's hurt. And we already know that. And Kurt Angle obviously can see it because he's exposing those weaknesses. And he's targeting them perfectly. Of course, Kurt Angle has much more time put into this business that he goes for the triple German suplexes. It's not Brock Lesnar taking Kurt Angle to Suplex City tonight. It's Kurt Angle taking Brock Lesnar to Suplex City. How many times have you seen Brock Lesnar not able to get any any big moves in here this early in the match? You usually see Brock with the advantage right off the gate, but not tonight. No, no, no. Kurt Angle has this match in his hands, and he may put him away. We saw this on SmackDown. Oh, my God. Top rope angle slam to Brock Lesnar. 
That could put him away. Going in for the cover. Can this be it? He's got him. New champion. And no. That's one thing about Lesnar. Doesn't matter how much pain he's in. He's not going to go down that soon. He won't go down that easy. It's going to take everything that Kurt Angle has to put Lesnar away. Even then, it may not be enough. Undertaker gave it all he could at SummerSlam. And that wasn't enough to put Lesnar away. Brock Lesnar going to the outside of the ring. Looking to give himself a little more room to breathe. Or maybe he's suckering Kurt Angle out there. I don't know. But now Kurt Angle has him up on his shoulders and drops him face first into that ring apron. And that is not padded at all. The flooring has a thin padding. But that apron's not padded. It's just It's just not padded. It doesn't it doesn't feel that great. And Brock Lesnar. Oh, big shot to the ribs. Big shot to the ribs of Kurt Angle, then drives him face first into that rain post. Brock Lesnar using the environment to his advantage here. And that may give him control of this match after doing that. Driving Kurt Angle head first into that rain post. That may give Brock Lesnar the advantage he needed, but no! Kurt Angle right back up to his feet with a belly to belly. Kurt Angle is not letting up. Cover, two, he's got him though. Kurt Angle not letting up. That's wise. The smart idea on Kurt Angle's part. He knows how tough Brock is. He knows how hard it is to put him away. He knows that if you give Brock Lesnar an inch, he's going to take you a mile. And half the time, it's a mile in Suplex City, which is almost like 30 miles in real, in real times. Kurt Angle knows that, and he recognizes that, and he's using, he's using the fact that he's not injured. He's exposing the weaknesses of Brock, and he's able to use those to his advantage, and he's not letting up. Here comes Suplex City again! Suplex City again to the Beast Incarnate. What's Brock Lesnar going to have to do to get back in this match? Because right now, Brock Lesnar is not showing a damn thing. And Kurt Angle is looking to finish his man off. So he wrenches on that neck, but Brock's hand is on that rope. But the ref isn't paying attention. Brock's hand's right on that rope. How do you not see that? But Brock Lesnar fighting out of it anyways. But Kurt Angle still is <laughs> still not letting up. That's how smart Kurt Angle is, but this may be Brock's chance, but no, Brock may have a chance. No, Kurt Angle is just not letting up. This is nuts. Have you ever seen anyone take it to Brock Lesnar like Kurt Angle is? He's looking for another top rope angle slam. Like I said, Kurt Angle is not letting up. Cut, oh, there he goes. Another top rope angle slant. That's got to be it. We have a new undisputed champion here tonight. No mercy's over. He's got him. Brock Lesnar kicked out of two top rope angle slams. These fans are trans suplex city. Brock Lesnar's trying to get back into this match. How did he kick out of two top rope angle slams in his condition? Oh, here comes Brock Lesnar Suplex City. These fans are getting what they want. Brock Lesnar now taking Kurt Angle to Suplex City. There he goes. Suplex City. Down goes Kurt. Brock Lesnar could be putting this match away now. Just like that. Just like that, Brock is back in this match. That, that's just the type of athlete Brock Lesnar is. The type of powerhouse he is. One move and he could be back in the match. These fans chanting for Suplex City. Sends Kurt off the ropes. Oh, sends him to the apron, actually. What's Brock doing here? Oh, drops him face first on the apron. A little bit of payback. A little bit of payback by Brock Lesnar. Oh, look at Brock now. Oh, look at Brock. Wrenching on that leg of Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle with a kick to the head, fighting out of it. Picks Brock up. Kurt Angle trying to figure out what to do with the big man. But Brock Lesnar fights out of it. Kurt Angle took way too damn long. That's his own fault if you ask me, but Kurt Angle's still, still fighting. Still, put, still putting the work in on Brock, even though Brock is still trying to fight back. Brock is not able to get into this match fully. He gets a little bit of advantage. It looked like Brock was looking for an F5, but Kurt Angle saw it coming. And now drops him to the mat and wrenches on that neck.
Brock again looking for an F5. <laughs> Brock was looking for an F5 again, and Kurt Angle was able to take the amount of time that took Brock to set it up and use it to his advantage, and then a German suplex. Targeting those ribs once again. Back to the ribs. Goes for the cover off that German. Does he have him here? New champion? No. Oh, shot right to the side of the hip, right to the side of the face. Kurt Angle looking for suplex city again. Can this put away Brock Lesnar? Kurt Angle is maybe closing in on a victory here. Maybe closing in on a victory. Suplex city again to the undisputed champion. Maybe former undisputed champion after this. Kurt Angle looking to put him away. Looking for the angle slam. No, Brock reversed. Brock reversed. Back suplex. Now is Brock still in this contest. In his condition. And now he's got him up. This is the beginning of the end for Kurt Angle. F5 connecting. Cover. Brock Lesnar retains the Undisputed Championship. He's got him 3-0. No. Kurt Angle kicked out. But Brock Lesnar looking for a second one. Brock Lesnar has him hoisted up for the... What the hell? What the hell's happening? I, we lost all of our lights here at ringside. I, I don't see a damn thing. What the hell? Brock Lesnar's been laid out! What is happening? Brock Lesnar has been laid out! Nobody saw a damn thing! Oh my god! Kurt's gonna do it! Kurt's gonna do it! Kurt did it! We have a new undisputed champion! Kurt Angle just beat Brock Lesnar! He did the unthinkable! He defeated Brock Lesnar! But what the hell just happened? What the hell just happened? I don't understand! The lights went out. When the lights went out, Kurt Angle was unconscious on Brock Lesnar's shoulders. He was set up for an F5. When they came back on, Kurt Angle had the cover. And Brock was laid out. Because of that, we have a new undisputed champion. Kurt Angle did it. Kurt Angle's your new champion. What does this mean for the WWE? Kurt Angle has captured the Undisputed Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for No Mercy. Stay tuned for more. Kurt Angle's your new world champion.